Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie and today we're going to tackle one of the biggest problems in our house, the pantry. It's nasty. It's so tiny and so packed full. We've got to deep clean it. We've got to organize it. We've got to purge. We've got to get rid of things that have expired. We've got to find a better way to store the food that we eat on a regular basis. So join me today as we get busy and organize this tiny pantry. Okay guys, so this is the dreaded pantry. And as you can see, it is jam-packed full all the way down to the bottom and all the way back. Full of crap, full of gunk, needs to be cleaned. So the very first thing we're going to do is empty it. And that's going to be a daunting task all by itself. I mean, look at everything that's in there. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to tell you that as I try to empty this, let me take my glasses off, let's get a glare. What I'm going to try to do as I empty this is I'm going to try to organize things so they're in the right place when I take them out. So I'm going to put all the canned goods together, I'm going to put all the boxed goods together, all the soft things like bread, buns, that kind of thing together, and hopefully that'll make organizing and putting it back a little bit more natural. But it's daunting, I'm not going to lie. Y'all know how I feel about my Baileys. And in case you weren't sure, now you should know. And of course, Baileys goes best in coffee. Or more coffee. not in flour. We do have an inordinate amount of booze in this house. And it's raining out of the pantry. So the trying to organize as I take things out has already gone by the wayside. It's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna take everything out of the pantry. aren't too bad because I had those plastic mats on top of them so they're just a little bit dusty is all. stuff over here on the stove and on all the countertops. There's some things that have fallen on the floor. So now I'm going to bring in the things that we got yesterday from uh, Phil went to Home Depot and got some things for me yesterday to um, get this organized and cleaned up and to stagger things so we can see what's in the back. So let's get those brought in and we'll start putting this thing back together. What we have here are four by fours that are cut to fit the width 
of the of the pantry shelf. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these, and then two smaller ones that will make the full length because it was cheaper to cut them an inch short. Otherwise, it would have been um, it would have cost another board. So and we'll get started getting it in the pantry. And now no matter what we put in there, we're going to be able to see three different layers of stuff and then the smaller items in front. The bigger things like the alcohol, the things we don't use as often, will go on top and I'll have Phil put those away. Excess coffee and so on. The coffee I use all the time will probably go in the front, in the middle, so I can get it all the time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go through everything in the kitchen, get all the canned goods and bring them and just set them in here. And we'll see what we have that's like similar things, all, all the tomato sauce, all of the cream celery soup, all that type of thing, and get it all together so it's thrown together and we can see just how much of it we have. So let's tilt you down a little bit so you can see the whole kitchen.
Okay guys, we're done. The door is all cleaned up and tidied, which as you just saw took like, I don't know, a minute and a half. Let me show you the actual pantry. So up top we have the alcohol, um, baking things that we don't use very often like the crock pot liners and the roaster liners. We really only use those for big family meals. Um, and Jemima pancake mix, oatmeal, I can't remember the last time we used either of those. The excess coffee, and yes I know there's a lot of excess coffee. Um, the coffee I use and the creamer I use are up front. The cappuccino mix I use are right up front. On this second shelf, this is the stuff we use all the time. So. The canned goods, the stuff we grab quick for lunch, lemonade, tea, um, Phil has peanut butter toast almost every single day. Um, I did move his cinnamon sugar out. He has that with his toast just about every day also, or not every day, but frequently. So back here is the stuff we use to make dinners with. Tomato paste, tomato sauce, um, cream of celery soup, chicken broth, that sort of stuff. This is the medicine we use day to day, like a first aid kind of thing, Advil, Band-Aids allergy medicine, that sort of stuff. Phil's prescription stuff is up here. So this is the stuff we use day to day if you just need something. Down below here we have the stuff we don't use as often. Pastas, potatoes, extra flour, extra sugar, mac and cheese for Sean, stuff like that. And then on this shelf is dog food and the bacon treats up front. And then behind that are all the bowls and stuff that don't fit. The pitcher that doesn't fit. And down below is I put the 12 pack of Coors Light up front because my kids asked for that for Christmas and I forgot I even bought it. So obviously didn't know it was there, but they're here fairly regularly so that'll get consumed pretty quickly. And I put the wine down there because that box is pretty heavy and really nobody, I don't particularly care for it unless I mix it with 7-Up and the 7-Up is also down there just because it's too heavy for this top shelf and I don't have um, anywhere else to keep it. So that's a pretty drastic difference. And those are four by fours cut to fit this width. Like I said, about an inch short because to get them to fit, that to take up that gap um, would have meant Phil had to buy another one of those boards, which was like $18. So it didn't make sense to do that. So we did it the way we did it there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscription. Um, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload new posts. I have another coming either today or tomorrow where we're going to tackle the, um, what am I thinking, the laundry room. So that's going to be fun. If I'm wearing the same clothes, it's because we did it the same day. So stay tuned and let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? You guys have a great day.